All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I regret to inform this. Uh, we're coming to, I believe, 30-something laps to go. OBS crashed for no apparent reason. And it has corrupted due to the nature of the MP4 file format. It, it is corrupted, and I no longer have the beginning of this race. To say I'm pissed off is an understatement because it's been a good one. But we'll just finish it out, I guess. I'm. Mm. Oh, I could punch a hole through a monitor right now. But right now, Michael Edwards, Cody Brown, these are your leaders. They are. They have about ten lap older tires. Giglio and his teammate Michael Chris were there. They they have you know ten lap fresher tires. I believe the fourteen to seventeen, and everyone else only has one more set of tires. I think they go about thirty something laps on a tank of gas. By the way. Pace car is in. Green flag back in the air. Fantastic restart for the 14 of Michael Edwards. He's nosing out ahead just barely of the 17 as they head into turn one. Brown now going to try and ball, to go to the bottom of the racetrack to hold on a second spot. But Gilo is able to get his nose under there. 32 laps to go. And Giglio has his teammate, the 22 of Michael Crisper, coming with him. He's going to go to the inside now. Giglio going to the inside to block his teammate. As he looks to try and get to the 14 on Michael Edwards for the race lead. Edwards probably due to come to pit row in about 5 or 10 laps. Presumably for his last pit stop of the night. Giglio now looking to his inside. Still not quite able to get there. Michael probably driving as hard as he can. Tire saving? Not in his equation right now. He is probably going to be pushing. Giglio continue to try and get a run to maybe get around this 14 machine as they come off turn number four. It's going to be 30 laps to go at the line. Once again, look for this 14 machine to maybe come down pit road in about five to ten laps. And then that's going to raise the question, can the 16 make it on gas? I think the fuel number's right at around 30 laps. And considering we went to green with, I think, 31, 32 laps to go, it's going to be close. 22, Michael Christopher trying to get a run on the 16 as well as, as they come to the start-finish line. 29 laps to go. On board with the 22 once again. Trying to get a run on his Team EXT racing teammate. As they come down the back stretch. Giglio trying to get a run on Michael Edwards for the race lead. Edwards going to block. Giglio going to the top of the racetrack. Edwards going to the top of the racetrack as well. Contact almost made. Edwards with a shallower line through turns three and four. That's going to allow Giglio to get a run through the quad oval. So you ready to head into turn one. Giglio going to peek to the outside to try and get a better arc through the corner. Edwards still the leader. Able to put his left front tires right on the apron. Down the back stretch. Has about a car length gap over the 16 as they head into turn three. And right here, Giglio able to get such a better run through the corner. Going to look to the inside, more likely through the quad oval here. Edwards staying to the bottom of the racetrack as they head into turn one. Down the back stretch, Edwards staying to the middle. Now arcing it back up to the outside. Actually, no, he's going to go to a middle from the middle to the bottom of the racetrack. Giglio, once again, with a great run through the center of the corner. That's where he's able to get the most bite from that truck. Now he's looking to the inside. Still not quite able to get underneath the 14. Almost making contact. Down the back stretch. Edwards still desperately trying to hold on to the race lead. Giglio, once again, a great run through three and four. Maybe looking to the outside. Going to go back to the bottom. Edwards still covering. 25 laps to go.
Oh, Edwards clips the apron. That's going to allow the 16 to get a huge run down the back stretch. I say huge. Not going to be able to get there again. But Edwards not going to be able to get to the bottom of the racetrack as good as the 16. Say that he is able to get an arc holding it to the bottom. Edwards still driving for his life. Here's the 22. Christopher for a moment there looks like he peeked to the inside. It's Giglio tagged the apron a little bit. Now Giglio has a run going to the inside again. Edwards still going to block. Does Giglio use the bumper? Edwards tags the apron. Giglio able to get to the inside now as they come down the quad oval. Giglio with help from his teammate on the inside. Still side by side for the race lead. Oh, the 22 makes contact with the 14. And then turn, the 14 gets into the 16. They're spinning and wrecking. They're able to actually keep it going. The 17 moves into second. Absolutely disastrous for the 22 and the 16. Yellow flag in the air. Oh my goodness. The 97 of Lucas Hoisma went up and over and blew up. Oh my god, absolutely horrible hit. Jesus. Let's go back and see what happened. The 22 slides up into the 14 and in turn hooks the 16. The 16 then gets hard into that outside wall. Let's go back and see. Oh, so there was like two different incidents going on here. At the same time, the 71 probably goes to check up. Yeah, he goes to check up, ends up getting rear-ended by the 47. The 71 then goes down the racetrack, and the 16 got into the 44 there. Don't think that's what caused much more of the incident. And then as that happened, the three comes up, and the 37 comes down, and these two drivers make contact, which sends the 37 back into the, to I believe that was, I couldn't even remember what car number that is, but as that happens, into the 71. Then the 37 comes back up the racetrack into the 97. My God! 14 comes down pit road. And I believe that's going to be their final set of tires. That just shook up the whole fabric of this race. Alright, we'll be back when we get ready to go green. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here. Pace car is in. And green flag back in the air. Michael Edwards leads them to the line. Leave Michael and Cody Brown on their final set of tires. DG Swiss in the 26th there running in third spot. Michael pulling away early now as we have 18 laps to go. Once again, I apologize for the beginning of the race. Not really going to be shown. But we're here now with 18 laps to go. Cody Brown looking, maybe trying to find a way to get around the 14 for the race lead. Cody has just won at Talladega in uh, the Super Speedway Series, looking to technically go two in a row in trucks. 17 to go. DG Swiss, the boss man of this truck series here. He's in third. But don't forget to see Pablo Corey Deal. He's side by side with the 47. Behind him, the 55, Tito Justin Wilkinson. He led early. I believe he was the pole sitter, actually. As 47 clips the apron, able to keep it going. Edwards still out front by a little over a tenth. The 26 of DG Swiss. Trying to get around this 17 machine, and here comes Corey Deal. Gonna be 15 laps to go at the line. And here comes DG to the inside of Cody Brown. Not quite able to make it happen. 
Now side by side with the 44 of Corey Deal. Down the back stretch. Oh, 26 almost got under 44, and I think Corey may have just barely grazed the wall. So they're still too wide for third spot. Corey now going to try and side draft a 26. DG now barely sliding up the racetrack off, off turn four. Going to be 14 laps to go at the line. So I don't think anybody's saving right now. I think they're all just driving. It's DG still side by side with the 44 down the back stretch, bringing the 55 of Justin Wilkinson with him. Where does Tito, Tito go? As Swiss slides up, makes contact with the 44. Corey sideways, so is the 26 down the front stretch. He almost gets into the 55. Deal into third now. Meanwhile, DG still side by side with the 55. Wilkinson, Wilkinson gets in the outside wall. There may have been contact between him and the 26. The 26 gets tapped by the 22. DG clips the apron again. May slide up into the 22. He does. He gets into the 22. He's sideways again. Still sideways, gets into the 47, the 47 back in the outside wall. He gets into the nine as JR. He's still on the outside wall. He's spinning hard into the inside wall at the entry of turn one. Oh, and gets net code nailed by the 99. My God. That one was rough. There is no doubt about that. That was a very rough incident. But this all started with the 26 clipping the apron and sliding up and making... Well, that didn't happen there. But it all started in battling for third spot. Heading into three... This slides up into the 44 of Corey Dill. Those two rub. Did not really affect the 44 as much. That caused the 55 to make contact, and they almost make contact again. Now heading into one. Oh, the 55. The 55 comes down as the 26 comes up. And these two make contact. That puts the 55 into the wall. Back to the 26. The 22 of Michael Christopher goes to his outside. Heading into three. DG. This kind of slides up the hill. I'm not sure he makes contact with the 22 and then gets into the 47. That puts the 47 in the wall. And then he's trying to hold on to it. Gets into JR. Just pow slams into the outside wall. And then hard into the inside wall. Tries to hold the brake. Then the 99 absolutely nails him. All right. We'll be back when you ready to go back racing. All right, welcome back here. We're going to go green with seven laps to go. I don't think anybody came down pit road. This is going to get crazy. Anything can happen, and it probably will. Corey Deal up to third. His brother right behind him in fifth spot. This is gonna this is gonna get hectic. Pace cars in. Michael steps on the gas. Corey does not get the best restart. He's side by side with Michael Christopher and Cody Brown. Side by side with Edwards. Or thanks to those core panels they had in a turn one. Third place still side by side as they head into turns one and two. Once again, seven laps to go. Brown trying to get a run down the back stretch. Deal. Still side by side with Michael Christopher down the back stretch. Christopher able to get to the bottom, trying to get underneath the 44 now. JR looking to the outside, not going to be able to. Going to be six laps to go at the line. Six laps to go for Michael Edwards. Has a two second gap. 
or not to second, the ticker screwed up again. About a second, a six tenth gap to third spot, but he has his mirror full of the 17 of Cody Brown. Meanwhile, 22, Michael Crisper looking to the inside of Corey Deal as they work through three and four. Slide up the racetrack, almost makes contact with the 44. Going to be five to go at the line. Corey trying to pinch him as they go through the quad oval. Five laps to go. Corey going to, going to side draft through one and two. Gets a run. Might be able to pull back alongside him down the back stretch. He has drafting help from his brother in the nine. As these two remain side by side, that's going to allow... The top two to continue to pull away. Edwards now a little over a tenth gap between him and the 17. Coming to four laps to go. What can Cody Brown do if, if anything? It's going to be three laps to go at the line. Once again, going to check back here. Christopher has finally gotten around the 44th. Corey Deal for third spot. Has about a second to make up on the leaders. Down the back stretch, Getting ready to come to three laps to go. Corey now under fire from his brother, JR, in the nine. Back up to the leader. Gap still about one-tenth. So they're coming to three laps to go. For your at this point, but if a caution were to come out, we will have a green-white checker. Cody Brown trying to get a run down the backstretch. Gap is half a, basically half a truck. He's able to get a run. He's peeking to the inside. Michael going to block. Cody throwing it in there. Slides up the racetrack. That gives Edwards some breathing room as they come off turn four. The gap moves up to about two tenths now. Two laps to go here from Charlotte. Michael Christopher in the 22 trying to run these boys down. Does he have... I do not think he has enough time. Seven tenths of a second. Michael Edwards has half a truck link lead over the 17. Cody Brown slide up the racetrack ever so slightly. White flag in the air. It is waving one lap to go. Is it going to be Michael Edwards, Cody Brown, or is Michael Chris going to pull something out of his hat as they head to turn one for the final time? Brown going for the arcing of the corner as they come onto the backstretch for one last time. Cody Brown trying to get a run down the backstretch. There's a lap truck. Tito, Justin Wilkinson. Is he going to play a factor? Cody Brown looking to the outside. He is there. He has a run coming off turn four. Not quite able to get there. It's going to be the 14. Michael Edwards going fast and entertaining Almondinger at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Second goes to Cody Brown. Third goes to Michael Christopher. Fourth goes to Corey. Oh, JR got past his brother. Hold up. Hold up. When the hell did this happen? Down the back stretch. JR got to run. Corey went from the side draft, just was not able to. JR slides up right in front of him. JR got fourth and Corey Deal got fifth. How about that? Now that 14 machine burning it down. All the 17 and the 14 are teammates. I completely forgot about that. So was DG. So, LFG Racing does a Team EXT. And the man, you can see it, the man with no pants, no shirt, just fire retardant undies, your winner here from Charlotte. Michael, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, man, you went fast, and I'm pretty sure you'd entertain Almondinger. Dude, <laughs> it, it's been a while. This is the first time that, that, that I've had the privilege to broadcast, record, or whatever, and see you bring home that checkered flag. Yeah, dude, it, it, it's awesome, man. It's it's been a while. Uh, long, long race, long pit strategy. It worked out. Me and 
Cody had the same exact strategy and dude it was perfect. Yeah, you and Cody, LFG doing a team EXT one two finish. Yeah man, it was uh LFG one two three four there towards the end or I think one two three four five to be honest with you. Uh we we had it going, man. Not at all what I expected when I came into this race with no practice or anything, but hey, no complaints. Absolutely. I want you to kind of walk us through those final 10, 15 laps. You had older tires. The 22 slid up and got into you, but it looks like you were able to kind of walk away with that with not too much damage. Yeah, I crapped my pants there. Um, it looked like it was a little bit of net code from me watching it on my teammate's stream. But, man, it could have been a lot worse. It felt bad for getting into Blake and whole situation but you know i guess it's a racing deal but the last 10 15 laps dude my tires are gone thankfully i had a teammate behind me or else i would have probably been you too <laughs> well man either way you drove a hell of a race i saw you you were driving your face off block that bottom line so congratulations on that you got any sponsor shout outs on this truck yes i actually got a new sponsor uh laspina tool and die it's a uh, local CNC company that I recently picked up this past week. Uh, first official sponsor besides my job, we filter. <laughs> so I I'm happy with that. Awesome. My second race with them, I get a win. It's awesome, man. Absolutely, man. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you. That was the 14, Michael Edwards, your winner here tonight. So next up is going to be the 17 of Cody Brown, his teammate from LFG. Let's see here. Well, hey, Cody. feel like I just talked to you a minute ago. Yeah. How's it going, man? How'd you like that race? That, that was awesome. You and your teammate won, too. Is there anything you think you could have done to get around him? Um, no, I was just trying to help him get away there. I tried to maybe get... I passed him there at the end, but the um, lap car was there, so... Maybe if I would try to listen, maybe I was open just trying to get a one-two finish there for uh, LFG. That's fair enough, I suppose. But man, that, that was a finish and a half. Yeah, I thought we were screwed there when that caution came out, and then because uh, uh, we were on old tires and we were off cycle there. But then luckily we ran a little bit and got back on got back on cycle there, and it worked out for us. Absolutely, man. Well, you got any sponsor shout-outs on that truck? Yeah, thanks DGS Racing, thanks uh, LFG, and uh, thanks you guys for broadcasting. All right, man. Congratulations on second place. Thanks, man. That was the 17. Cody Brown finished second here tonight, and I'll go ahead and get the sponsor folder up here very quickly. Once again, your winner here tonight, the 14 of Michael Edwards. We'll get out of this. There we go. Once again, a man with just fire retarded undies. Sponsor folder up here. Once again, there's no particular order like thing. Junk Steer Cleaning, T Public, the entirety of the Sidewinder Racing League family, uh, DGSRacing.com, Dad Gamer Swiss, Security Pro LLC, and Snipes Lawn Care. Oh, and once again, DG Swiss, once again, for uh, bringing us to Sidonomia Awareness. On that note, I've been the Cheesecake. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next one.